Exorcism has a long history in almost all major religions. Priests in ancient Babylonia used a voodoo-like ritual to perform exorcisms. Holy water was used to deliver ancient Persians from demonic possession. The Bible frequently describes Jesus Christ casting out demons from those who were thought to be possessed. Here is a roundup of the 10 real-life exorcisms that actually happened. So that being said, as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy rest the video. Number 1. The Exorcism of George Lukens, 1778. George Lukens, an English tailor, displayed peculiar behavior in 1778, speaking in strange tones, making unnatural noises, and singing hymns backward. Seven priests issued a last command to the demons who had seemingly taken possession of Lukens' soul during a ceremony held in Bristol's Temple Church. Lukens performed the Lord's Prayer and thanked the priests after the ritual was finished. One of the rare documented exorcisms with a successful outcome was this one. Number 2. Gottlieb in Didis, 1842. German neighbors became suspicious of peculiar activities occurring at the home of Gottlieb in Didis, a 28-year-old lady, in 1842. Didis claimed that her home was haunted and soon started falling in and out of what others have called trance-like states, but it wasn't until a religious minister started an exorcism that things really started to spiral out of control and Didis needed to be restrained physically. Didis vomited glass, nails, and blood for two agonizing years while the pastor engaged in numerous exorcism rituals. Finally, Didis said that Jesus is conqueror and that the demons had left. Number 3. Clara Germana Selle, 1906. Clara Selle, a 16-year-old from South Africa, was overheard making a deal with the devil. She then started acting strangely, tearing at her clothes, growling, speaking in tongues, and exhibiting superhuman power. Clara was subjected to exorcisms by two priests in 1906 and 1907, during which her body levitated in front of 170 witnesses and her skin burned when touched by holy water. However, Clara was declared to be rid of evil when a noxious odor was noticed exiting her body. Number 4. Anna Eklund, 1896. Her real name was not Anna Eklund, but because of the 2016 horror movie The Exorcism of Anna Eklund, people tend to identify it with this famous American instance of demonic possession. The name of the genuine girl, who was born in 1882, is unknown. At the age of 14, after she rejected his efforts toward sex, her father declared that she was under the influence of the devil. After several years and two drawn-out exorcisms, Anna was eventually liberated of her demons in December 1928. This was made possible by Anna's father's mistress, Mina, who did black magic and brought about another demonic possession. Number 5. Roland Doe, 1949. In order to preserve his privacy, this 13-year-old boy's identity has been changed in the case files to Roland Doe. He was grieving the loss of a dear aunt when he started seeing weird sights and sounds. As the possession intensified, Roland started acting with ferocious superhuman strength. In 1949, his parents brought him to St. Louis for a lengthy exorcism that is now referred to as the St. Louis Exorcism. The Exorcist is based on this narrative. Until a miracle, in the exorcist's words, eventually lead Roland out of his trance-like state, the youngster merely said, he's gone, Roland yelled, cursed, and fought his exorcists. Number 6. Michael Taylor, 1974. The regular episodes of despair that Englishman Michael Taylor, a husband and father of five, experienced seemed to lessen until he met preacher Marie Robinson, a young woman of 21. Taylor thought that part of the reason was Robinson's power to cast out the demons that were afflicting him. After Taylor's wife confronted him about a potential affair with Robinson, he physically assaulted her, which prompted two preachers to perform an exorcism on her on October 5, 1974. Michael shouted in tongues, had seizures, and spit and bit the exorcists. He viciously murdered his wife the following day. But because the defense claimed that the exorcism had rendered him insane, he was not found guilty. Number 7. Annalise Michel, 1976. The terrible tale from Germany is told in Felicitas D. Goodman's book The Exorcism of Annalise Michel. It served as the inspiration for the 2005 slasher movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose, Annalise's tale ended in murder, but unlike Michael Taylor's exorcism, Annalise was the victim. The demonic possession of the German woman was actually an unidentified brain illness, perhaps epilepsy, schizophrenia, or both, but Annalise was a devout young woman and was open to exorcism as a treatment. The 23-year-old died of malnutrition after making 67 futile attempts. Her two priests were found guilty of murder. Number 8. The Exorcism of Gina, 1990. 
Rev. James Labar oversaw three exorcisms in 1990, all of which were approved by Cardinal John O'Connor, the Archbishop of New York, and the Vatican. One of these, the exorcism of Florida girl Gina, was broadcast on television in 1991 on the ABC network. The ceremony, which featured music in the style of the Middle Ages, was described by Newsweek as nothing more than the needless agony of a severely unhappy young girl. She was restrained to a chair, screaming and barking incoherently as the reverend thrust a cross into her face and threatened Gina's purported demons with torture if they desired it. Antipsychotic medications were ultimately what Gina needed to feel better. Number 9. Terence Cottrell, 2003. Terence Cottrell, an eight-year-old kid with autism, was killed in 2003 during a prayer service that was designed to drive away the demonic spirits allegedly responsible for his illness. According to CNN, Terence was suffocated and mechanical asphyxia from external chest compression was determined to be the cause of death. The boy is said to have stopped breathing when the exorcist, the Reverend Ray Hemphill, sat on his chest. The minister was found guilty of murder. Number 10. Marisica Arena Cornici, 2005. When Marisica Arena Cornici, a nun from Romania, first noticed voices, she was 23. She believed that the devil was speaking to her. She had had schizophrenia treatment, but after relapsing, she had to undergo an exorcism. According to CBS's account of the case, Cornici was bound to a cross, gagged with a towel, and left in a dingy convent room for three days without food or water. She eventually passed away from asphyxia and dehydration. People have been terrified by the idea that bad spirits can possess humans throughout history. These terrifying tales are undoubtedly the reason why exorcism has a long and illustrious history. Please comment below your thoughts. Hope you like the video. For more such videos please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon.